Good morning. Is it still morning? You know, I'm I'm overwhelmed by the sincerity in this room. I'm also inspired. I've met four presidents in person, ambassadors, leaders, President Xi in person. I've been to 40 countries, and um, this room probably makes me the most shy. <laughs> I, I said it at the beginning, I'm still really shy. Um, and so uh, I, I'm going to have just a quick, simple sector infomercial. Okay? This is going to be really simple because I'm at a stage now, you, some of you have heard me say this, um, I, I retired early because I really wanted to be in a preferment stage. So I prefer to invest in my Filipina heritage and that I solve for people, planet, and prosperity. And I think um, in, you know, in, a, in a very complicated world, it's hard to just solve for one thing. And so my mission now, and, and has been consistently so my entire career, is to solve for people, planet, prosperity. Um, and, and let me just um, say here that, you know, for some of you, you mentioned it earlier, what's it like to be alone? What's it like to be alone in a global industry, aerospace, complexity, alone globally in an industry? And I think, I think it's manifesting here in, in my um, inability to really, uh, uh, I think, show up well here with you because I haven't had practice. And so I'm a work in process. I'm learning, and I really would like to invite all of you to be my mentors, <laughs> to be a better Filipina. Because I know, um, and by the way, I do understand Tagalog, Visaya, and Karaya. So if you speak around me, I do understand. I just can't speak. I just can't, don't forget that. <laughs> transparency there. Um, but yes, this is really a depiction of what it's like to be alone as a female leader in the aerospace sector globally. Okay, so um, the vision here, I guess I, I just wanted to be a source of data and to share, you know, what's it like to be in the C-suite of a complex corporate organization. And by now, you probably learned from me that I can be really boring. Um, I'm just observing, I'm learning, I'm being a sponge. And I had a presentation, that, um, a version with pictures, and I wanted to share with you that when my father passed away in 2016, I started a, a limited liability company as an angel investor for health research. Uh, when my mother passed away in 2018, and she's a doctor, she was a doctor, and um, I started a limited liability company um, to help the underserved. And so um, I'm an angel investor. Um, I'm an academic because I sit on the board of a university. I'm an alum of Harvard University of Purdue University. I've been an executive there, and um, I sit on the board of Washington State University. And so the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because as I solve for people, planet, and prosperity, I have this network, and I'd like to share it with you in addition to being an advocate for the aerospace industry. So the rest of this is really boring because the problem is there aren't a lot of Filipinas in, in aerospace and I could talk about parts and assembly and manufacturing and the fact there's um, uh, six million parts in a 747 and um, how, to print, how to 3D print a satellite. Um, you know, and uh, we, we know how to launch rockets still in the US. It's not just Elon. And so, you know, the rest of this is really boring. Women need to be in aerospace. Why? Okay, data point. The Philippines represents less than 0.1% of 
of an over trillion dollar industry. And aerospace um, contributes to the technology advancement of humankind. And we need that to solve for people, planet, and prosperity. I was one of the first environmental engineers at the Boeing Company, specifically hired for pollution prevention and restoration 35 years ago. So now that sustainability is a little bit more imperative, I was deep in the bowels of the Boeing Company, literally taking samples of um, what came through the sanitary sewers. I started at the bottom of the company and I navigated my way through corporate culture um, to ultimately be in the right place at the right time um, and become a C-suite officer. And what does that really mean in a public company, in a very large company, in a male-dominated industry? What does that really mean? And I think sometimes, even though we speak certain words in similar ways, we don't really understand what that means. What's that mean to navigate in a male-dominated um, table where you're the only woman? Um, and what does that mean to re uh, present in front of a board of directors, you know, that's really intense, that represents global competitiveness? And, and so now I'm also on the faculty for the World 50 um, Everest group that teaches and prepares C-suite candidates for the top 50 companies in the world. So I spend my time with a lot of volunteering and really, this is just inviting any Filipina who's interested in, um, in aerospace to fly. Now, I wish I had my pictures here because I won't download it either, but uh, later, my, my daughter, who's now 19, learned how to fly an airplane before she learned how to drive. Um, so I have a picture of her. My husband is a, um, he's a private pilot. I've been a student pilot forever, and um, we also paraglide. So the portfolio of things that um, I would just like to contribute to this group is just that vast network. And again, I just would um, be so grateful if you could mentor me to be a better Filipina so that I can solve for people's planet prosperity. Thank you.